playground. Lilo's there. Come, <laughs> Eto. Um, and then. How's your. Hi. Hi, guys. My kids are enjoying the playground again near our house we are still adjusting to life here in the city for the meantime and been spending most of my time just you know um making sure that my kids are having an easy time or feeling at home somehow even from from our day-to-day -day activities up to of course the food and snacks that i prepare for them <laughs> saw you there by the counter Look and flash, thought I'd walk up to you. I was out with my buddies, talking trash with nothing to do. I got up from the table, adrenaline, started walking to you. If ever I would be able to feel your skin and be close to you, I could. First is this super easy two ingredient recipe that both kids, babies, and adults will enjoy, especially on a hot day. Um, but it's also really good and recommended for as a fun and healthy snack for kids who are babies who are currently teething. That's how I actually came up with this. Um, for this recipe, I'm going to use Gerber Organic Apple and Blueberry Puree, and I will just combine that with yogurt. All you have to do is dunk it in a blender and then add in yogurt. It's up to you to, it, like, it really depends on how you like it to taste. So it's up to you to decide how much yogurt you want to add in. There. And then if your kids are also older, it would be maybe tastier if you add in a little bit of honey or just sweetener if you want. Okay, I'm going to blend in one cup first of yogurt and see how I like the taste. We're still not losing that apple and blueberry taste, so it's safe for me to add another cup. Super quick and easy, and to make it cute, I have these popsicle um, silicone tubes. Popsicle tubes. I'm gonna just put them in and stick this in a freezer. And there you have it. Fruity yogurt popsicles using Gerber puree. So this one is a simple recipe that anyone I know can make because all you have to do is mix all the ingredients together and it doesn't require much as well. It's a quick way to prepare a healthy snack that will get the kids full. So I'm gonna use half a cup of rolled oats. I'm only gonna make half a serving. 
half a cup of quick cooked oats. Mix the dry ingredients first. So I'm gonna add in chia seeds, maybe about two tablespoons. And then cinnamon powder, just like one teaspoon. And now it's time to mix in the wet ingredients. So I have two 80 gram jars of Gruber applesauce. It's nice to hear that pop because that's how you know your food is safe and protected. Um, and then maybe about a tablespoon of coconut oil and some honey. So this is my sweetener. Um, you can substitute it with a different sweetener if you are not comfortable having your baby have honey. I've transferred it. So, it's in the oven for maybe about just like 16 minutes. Usually, a full serving will last 25 minutes in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. But, um... Now I'm going to do maybe like 15-16 minutes because it's not a whole song. And here is the finished product of my apple oat bars. Um, the nice thing about this is, is that it's make ahead. So get it out of the oven, slice it, and then you can put it in the fridge or just on top of the table for when someone feels hungry. Here we are just hanging out outside Nanai's house and we've been adjusting pretty well to life here in the city for a bit. One of the ways that I I could get my kids to, you know, be and feel comfortable here on the, in the city is keeping up with the routine that we had on the island and trying my best to make them feel at home. I also like to have a little bit of fun by using our Gerber purees and turning it into different types of fun treats for the kids. Beginning with this tasty treat that Ko is eating right here. It is our fruity frozen yogurt popsicles. More like ice candy. Is it yummy? Yummy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> 